October. <laughs> it's one of Saito Tink's Halloween creatures that she made last year. I love this. This is Mr. Caruso. He's great. Hi, YouTubers. Ruby T. Vinyl here. Um, gosh, did I woke up this morning? It was 41 degrees. Had to turn on the heat to get the chill out of the house. So. Bummer. Hopefully we'll get one week of beautiful fall here in Ohio, but you never know. <laughs> what, and we've had tons of rain, which is super unusual for this time of year. Um, last night, uh, record disco night was Scooey. We went to Lost Weekend to see an acoustic performance from one of my most favorite local artists, Lydia Loveless. She's great. She's um, kind of, oh, she writes the most beautiful lyrics. Uh, she did sign my album. Um, oh, she's beautiful acoustically, and uh, her album, she's compared to Loretta Lynn, and I, and she's more rock and roll live. Um, she's awesome. If you get a chance to listen to her, please check her out. What I'm playing right now, I'm totally obsessed with. Went to uh, Spoonful Records on Thursday to get away from work, and Brett put this on the turntable, and I was like, oh my god, what is this? And I thought it was some obscure old 60s punk record. No, brand new record from a year ago. Boys from Australia that just literally got out of high school, and listen how tight they play. The Frowning Clouds. Oh, if you love 60s psychedelic garage, if you can find this, grab it. This is an Italian import. Um, they do have an EP out at 145, and on eBay, there's nothing on eBay, uh, their records are scarce, but Brett said he's had seven copies, and he has sold every one. This was his in-store copy, and he luckily sold it to me. Very fabulous. At, um, after last weekend, Screw and I popped over to Use Kids. Um, this is a beautiful series. It's called the Vintage Series from RCA's from the mid-60s. It's a great study of blues and early country 78s. This is Women of the Blues. Tinky would love this. Featuring Alberta Hunter, Margaret Johnson, Lizzie Miles, Monette Moore, Mamie Smith, Victoria Spivy, Sweet Peas, who I'm screaming over, and Sippy Wallace. Yay. In any condition, grab these so you can listen to them, and then you have a good idea of what 78s to look for when you're out junkin'. Oh gosh, this stuff is great. This particular album goes from 1927 to like uh, 1926, I think, through 1937 of all things. Um, another Motown, yay, it's in mono. Oh gosh, I love this. This is volume two, Tamla. It's a second pressing, so it's mid 60s. It should have the Globe label, instead it has, you know, your typical Tamla label. I love this song. Um, yesterday, last weekend to celebrate um, Atomic Vinyl Zombies' first year anniversary, I bought Kraftwerk Audubon on Warner Brothers. I swear I have this original copy. I don't know. I paid way too much for this, but I was in the spirit of it. So, oh well, this way it goes. Okay, I gotta speed it up a little. I'll go over my flip video 10 minute limit. Uh, Mega Records. Scooby found me some records while Lydia was performing at Lost Weekend and he picked them up for me. They were like a quarter. Hello DJ Don Bauman on Mega. Nicely. Very weird record. Um, he found me some country records that I should know and I didn't. Trick Pony. Poor me. Great honky tonk from the late 80s I think. No, 2000. Wow. Aaron Tippin, Kiss This on Lyric Street Records. Isn't that cool? Love that. Real thick record. Um, uh, 1978 Disco on Butterfly Records, St. Tropez. One more minute. Stunning copy. And he said the MCA sleeve is correct on this because MCA bought Butterfly Records. Ugh. I don't think it looks very pretty together. Um, Justin Timberlake, 2002 45. Oh my God. Like I Love You, great record. Justin is so awesome. I can't wait for a new album. Uh, Jimmy Ruffin, Hold On To My Love, 1980, RSO. Yay, Keith Whitley and Lori Morgan, Till A Tear Becomes A Rose. Oh my gosh, I miss Keith Whitley. God, he was so good. Um, Free Band at um, Use Kids. Star Records, The Smile by The Sims Twin. <laughs> great record label. <laughs> I like the B-side, Right To Love, really cool. Rescue to Christmas Deca 45s, Ernest Tubb, uh, 
Christmas Island, which I have, but this copy is stunning. And Red Foley and the Little Foley's, yay. Uh, Frosty the Snowman and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Both of these songs have been on past Christmas CDs, but I will post Frosty uh, playing on a vintage player this, this holiday because it's just adorable how they do it. Oh, it's wonderful. Um, a DJ collection of 45s came into Spoonful. And I'm like, where did this guy DJ at a roller rink? It made no sense. There was not a single 12 inch. It was like hundreds of 45s, all 80s. And most of them were terrible. But I picked up a couple. Uh, Arista, The Blues Man by Alan Jackson. Uh, check it out. Queen, Princess of the Universe. And look, it's Stereen. I have never seen a capital Stereen record. <laughs> Um, Pam Tilla is doing Mandolin Rain on Arista, very lovely. Oh, I love this record. Toby Keith, um, I'm so happy I can't stop crying on Mercury. Oh, I love this period of Toby Keith. I hate his stuff today, it is dreadful. But man, he used to write really good songs, and I hope he goes back to it someday. Fantastic. And this cheese ball record, Claymation Christmas Celebration, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> With the grapes. I don't remember what they were for. Raisins or something? I don't know. On Atlantic. So that's it for Raymond T. Vinyl. A uh, big night tonight. Um, it's, a it's a Halloween gallery hop. And they're also lighting a neon sign, um, My Neck of the Woods, that has not been lit for over 30 years. It's been restored, so I'm really excited to see that. And I do want to have footage of that to share with all my friends. So, um, happy fall, happy Halloween, early, and I'll dig out some Halloween records to share with you and play a record today.